Hey, I came to check out a house uh, that's off Springdale, right over the Paulding line in Polk County and Rockmark. And I came in the garage entrance, so when you walk in that way, there's a laundry room in here that's nice and big. Um, they have the new vinyl flooring in, so that's really nice. And then there's a big wide open kitchen. They painted the cabinets white and they're really pretty. You could add some pulls to everything and make them more individual to you. The countertop is not hard surface like granite or quartz, but it looks like it and it's in really good shape. And these cabinets are in really good shape too. Like these are newer cabinets actually. Cause you can tell from the wood they're made out of. So really they just need pulls on them. Yeah. And then here's the other side, the sink with the window over it. It has stainless appliances. And if you ever wanted to, you could take this down and get the microwave that goes over the stove so you don't have to use counter space, but there's tons of cabinets in here. And it feels nice and wide and open. And then there's a dining area, so the even kitchen area. And it's almost open concept besides this one wall right here because it opens up into a really cute family room. Oh, I love their furniture. And again, they have the wood like vinyl flooring in. It's been repainted on the inside. It's hard to see the outside because I got over here so late. It gets dark so early now, it's hard to go see houses at this time of the day, but this is a really nice size room I'm trying to show you from over in the corner. And then obviously this would be the front door. I came in the carport door. So I'll show you out this. So I know it's hard to see, but there's my car in the driveway. And it does have a front porch and I love, it's a concrete front porch and it has the uh, iron um, around the edge. So that's really pretty. And the black front door. It's gray, white, and black. And then there's a coat closet that they have full of moving stuff. I want to walk their front door back. Sorry. I know this will be my first virtual showing to you guys. But, and then again, here's the dining area and the kitchen and the laundry room back from this view and the back door. And there's windows everywhere, which is really nice. So it would let in a lot of sunlight if, if it weren't so dark. And then here's the pantry. So this is really large, lots of storage in here and the hot water heater. And it was installed in 2020, so that's really good. And then there's the electrical. And then here's the back door. So I know you can't really see the backyard that well, but it's pretty flat. It just has a, a little slope and it has a split rail fence around it. And you could very easily build a deck onto the back right here. I mean, you could make a deck as far over as you wanted to, and it would be really close to the ground. So it wouldn't be like a high deck. But there's the side of the backyard. And the split rail does have the little chicken wire in it so that it's definitely like, you know, closed in. And it does have new steps built back here. I would say the outside of this house is more maybe of a pelt. I thought it was white and black and gray, but now in the night it looks almost like a pale yellow. And you can close this area off with this door if you wanted to. Let me turn all these off. Oh, maybe I did. Right. 
And then here's another closet. And then there's a hallway. And the first room on the right is the hall bathroom. It's really cute. Same flooring, new toilet, nice vanity. It looks like a piece of furniture and they have their own mirror up in the new light fixture. And then it has the shower tub combo that's very nice. The only thing that this house does not have that I know you guys said you really wanted was a garage, but we're going to talk about that. So here's one of the bedrooms. It's a nice size. This has a big bed in it and some furniture, so you can kind of tell how big it is. And then the closet is behind the door, so it's a double closet. I saw a way on TikTok the other day you can fix these bifold doors into regular doors, and it was really simple. And I was like, oh my goodness, oh, this is a huge bathroom, oh my goodness, this is huge in here. This is like a big, wide open bathroom for sure. And it has the tub and shower. Eventually, you could put a different kind of tub in here and you could t or tile in a big, gigantic shower. Um, it did seem like the ceiling got lower once I came in here, but there's the vanity. It's really pretty. It has the countertops from the kitchen. Everything looks nice and neat. The thing I loved about this house is that everything had been redone for the most part. Um, and so I knew that that's what you guys want wanted. So, and then there is a door at the end of the hallway. It's a pretty far back uh, closet, but they have a lot of stuff in there. And then here's another bedroom with a puppy dog and it's a little bit smaller but as you can see there's also a nice size bed in here and then the closet it's right there oh hey baby it's okay I'm sorry I'm in your house hey puppy I don't want to turn, I can't, the fan is on, but I don't want to turn the light on because of the dog. So they did the new flooring throughout the whole house, so there's no carpet, which is awesome. And then here's the third bedroom. They're using it as a gym. So as you can see, there's plenty of space in here. So these two rooms would be like the secondary and that first room I showed you would be the primary bedroom with its own bathroom. And then there's the closet. And then come back out in the hallway. So that's about it. I mean, it's just a nice small home. It's been redone. I love the flooring and the colors they chose on the inside would go with just about anything. Plenty of room. Um, and I like where it is. I know it's a little farther out than you guys said, cause it's, but it's just right past the second turn off to Yorkville. So it's on Springdale. And once you turn on Springdale, it's like not even a mile on the right. Um, so it's a small road, not that busy, um, that has a really slow, um, you know, speed limit because it is a little curvy and bumpy. And then we'll go back out here. I love that it has new cabinets. I love this space back here as well because this just really gives you a lot of room. But I want to show you the carport because I know that he wants a garage but what I was thinking is 
that it wouldn't be very hard to close this off and make this a garage. Um, frame in that side. Get some siding. Um, insulation. And then frame in that end as much as you needed to to get a uh, garage door up there. And you would end up with this whole space being an enclosed garage. Um, so just a thought, and I was thinking, I don't know how handy you are, but I was thinking with the framework, the siding, insulation, um, and then doing the front part with the garage doors, or if you wanted to put windows over on that side, I mean, you're talking about less than $8,000, maybe a little bit more, because you wouldn't have to do anything to the ground because that's already concrete. And it looks like it's in decent shape. 